first animation, live action, and documentary Oscar nominated short films are back for two nights only. Fresno Filmworks will proudly present an exclusive presentation of the Oscar nominated short films. The two evenings will feature five full programs of Academy Award nominated short movies. And here is a sneak peek. Every morning, our eyelids peel back to let in the sunlight. We are striving to forge our union with purpose. It is one of the best things that humans do. Because after all, we're all one big family. Bad books and burning books are the same. feel good to know that you have something that is yours that nobody can take away. And so we lift our gazes not to what stands between us, but what stands before us. Well, there you go. A little sneak peek. Joining us now from Fresno Filmworks is Cindy Doozy. So thank you so much for being here again. Uh, all right. So those me. are, that's a little sneak peek it of is. the short films that we're going to be able to watch this coming weekend. But first, remind everybody who Fresno Filmworks is, what you guys do. All right. Fresno Filmworks is a nonprofit organization dedicated to bringing films to Fresno that you would not ordinarily see on the big screen. For example, Oscar shorts are played in other cities all yeah. over the country, but they never come to any of the screens in Fresno. Fresno Filmworks exclusively brings them each year. So our mission is to bring films to people that they can see outside of streaming in their homes sure. to see with an audience, to see with other people. Yeah, because sometimes that is sort of the fun and sort of the the vibe of getting to watch film is that you watch it with an audience. So I always tell you that I have been watching the Oscar nominated shorts, uh, the an I always love the animated ones, and I would always see them in San Francisco. They would always right. come to San Francisco. They and do. so it is very, it's great that we have Fresno Filmworks to bring them here. Yeah. So when can we see them and how are we putting this together? Okay, so we will be showing um, our programs will be this coming Sunday and Monday. Okay. And, and the best way to figure out the times and which programs we're showing when is to go on to the Strummers website. Okay. Strummers is a club in the Tower District. It's where we've been showing the films now the last few years. So if people just go online to the Strummers website, they can purchase their tickets online as well. Great. You can purchase them at the door. It will be cash only. Okay. But they can see when the programs are being shown. Um, and I, I can't encourage people enough to come out and see these. Yeah. And I know, I, I will say a couple of things, maybe a disclaimer. Um, sometimes people hear animation. Yeah. And they think, oh, it's cartoons. cartoons. Let yeah. me bring, bring the family. Yes. The animated films are definitely, they're animated, but they're not cartoons. And right. they deal with mature subject matter um, that's quite heavy. This year, one is about the Holocaust. One is about childhood trauma. So we're recommending audiences maybe 13 and older right um, so we want to make sure parents understand that yes um, you know oftentimes in the past the documentary program has been quite heavy yeah you know films about war films about films that uh, you feel a bit down after you <laughs> sure see them. sure I've already seen a few of the docs this okay. year and they are so uplifting there's one called Nai Nai and Wai Po, and a filmmaker, it's basically a love letter to his two grandmothers. <gasps> oh. And these two grannies are just embracing life. They have so much fun. I mean, you will laugh, you will cry, your spirit will be lifted. Um, and there are others in the doc program this year that are, again, yeah. they will literally leave you with your spirit flying. So I highly recommend for people that have avoided the docs in sure. the past to come out and see them this year, but all three programs are excellent. How long are the short films? How long is each one? Okay, they vary. So to be eligible for an Academy Award, the film can be no longer than 40 minutes. Okay. The films this year, over the th 
three programs range from seven minutes, that's okay. the shortest film, to 39 minutes. Oh, that's wow. somebody, right, who just gets in under the wire. Yeah. So they vary. Okay. Um, and I always tell people there are five films in each program. You might not like every film, <laughs> but you have five films. Yeah. And you might watch three or four and then see the fifth one and go, I didn't love that, but gosh, I loved yeah. the other three or I loved the other four. So it's a unique experience yes. to be able to watch them in Fresno with an audience, with, an audience. with other people, hear the laughter, see people pulling tissue yeah, out tissues. and wiping their eyes. I, I always find that it is very fascinating how different all of these short films are. And it is a unique situation because you are watching them one right after another. So it is really cool to see how the production value is different. It is. You know, what the look, how the cinematography is different. And it, it's uh, it's definitely it's different than watching a full length picture. So these are these are some very unique films, and it, it's a great opportunity if you love film or if you've never seen the shorts before to go out and watch them before before we have the Oscars. So when where can we get tickets? What's the website? One more okay, time. Okay, so the website is Strummers club.com. Okay. If you just Google Strummers Fresno, it will pop up. You'll just have to scroll down through their events. Right. You'll find our event, click on it, and there will be a link to buy tickets. Okay. I actually bought a pass for all three films just yesterday. Perfect. It was very, very easy. And again, we will sell tickets at the door, but it will be cash on only. a cash only basis okay. at the door. All right. We will have uh, the link and all the dates online. Cindy, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. All right. Coming up here on Central Valley today, this adorable adoptable is looking for a forever home. We're back with the Valley Animal Center after the break.